want to, I do want to read the footnote for you in this. Because here's a really great contrast. It says, the contrast here is between a ministry that brings awareness of sin and leads to condemnation. That's the, the Ten Commandments. They were there. The rules were there to point out to us what was wrong and what we were doing wrong. And a new ministry that confirms to us that we are made righteous and innocent by the work of the cross and the grace of the Spirit. Whoa, so this is no longer in this place where don't do this. You know, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And going, right? Now it's like, it's not about how good we are. It's about how good he was and how good he is and what he did for us. You know, I think a, a way to say this is religion is man's way of trying to find God. But relationship through Jesus is God's way of reaching us. You see, religion is in the pursuit of God, trying to do the right things in order to get to God. You know, in the old covenant, they had to do all of these things in their pursuit to be in right standing with God. This and this and this and this, and they're trying to find God and hoping God's there. Still today, many religions, they're trying to find God. But relationship with God, relationship through Jesus Christ is God reaching out to us. See, he's coming for you now. You don't have to strive to find him. He's coming for you. Jesus came for you. It changes everything. But religion says get your act together in order to come to God. Right? You got to do this, 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 and this. Once you do this, 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 and this, then we'll talk. Maybe you're worthy. But relationship says I'll meet you in your mess and I'll walk you out. Oof. That's what new covenant is. I'll meet you in your mess and I will walk you out. You see, the Bible says that in the Old Covenant, the law was written on tablets of stone. You know, so we had to obey an outward. It was a very outward works-based thing. In the New Covenant, he says, I will write my law on your heart. In other words, it's not that we don't obey what God says, but we do it out of a, an empowerment of his spirit in us and out of a love that says, God, I don't want to do all those things because of what you've done for me. You know, it's a totally different relationship. But when we understand that he, Jesus didn't come, you know, many times there's an imbalance in this teaching when we start talking about grace. Because what happens is people can believe that grace is permission to do absolutely anything you want to do. Well, I'm, grace has got it, right? The old law, the old covenant's gone, the law is gone, I live under grace, I don't live under law. No, what Jesus came is he says, I did not come to abolish the law, I came to fulfill it. So as you read the Old Testament, it is a shadow and a foretelling of what Jesus will fulfill. So the thing, the difference now is the fulfillment of it is that we don't have to obey the Ten Commandments with our own strength. We get to do it with his strength and his power in us and with his laws written on our heart. We don't want to do those things. You see, it's an internal thing. Now, um, the Bible says the two disciples, the two greatest are, um, commandments to us are to love God with all our heart and to love others as ourselves. That's it. But with his power, if you're loving your neighbor, are you gonna steal from them? Are you gonna kill, from the, kill them? No, I mean, you might be tempted, but you're not gonna do it, right? Because of, it's out of the overpour of what Jesus did for you. See, I, in the Old Testament, they had to obey in order to be right with God. In the New Covenant, we obey because of his love and our love for him. See, two very different things. Two very, very different things.